18-year-old Salvador Ramos didn't leave a note or manifesto before shooting his grandmother and killing 21 people at a primary school in Texas. But here's what we can learn about the shooter from his social media posts. He was particularly active on an app called Ubo, where users make friends with people based on their location. He used the platform to send aggressive messages, like this one to a girl on Valentine's Day. In it, he says he would worship her before telling her to jump off a bridge. And some Ubo users have alleged Ramos abused animals and live streamed it on the platform, although no screenshots or recordings of this have surfaced. He was also on Instagram and TikTok using at least two usernames. Ramos messaged a person on Ubo with proof he had bought a gun. And he also posted a photo of two guns on his Instagram before the attack. This message was sent at 9.16am, likely on the morning of the attack, but it is not possible to know this for certain. In it, he says, I'm a air out, a reference to shooting someone. Ramos asked his sister to help him buy a gun. She flatly refused. That was in September of 21. On March 3rd, 2022, there's another four-person chat, quotations, word on the street is you are buying a gun. Ramos replied, just bought something on March 14th, and there's an Instagram posting by the subject, in quotations, 10 more days. A user replied, are you going to shoot up school or something? The subject replied, no, and stop asking dumb questions and you'll see. Ten minutes before the police were first called to the Texas shooting, Ramos texted a girl he'd met through Ubo to say he had shot his grandma and was going to shoot up an elementary school. The 15-year-old spoke to CNN and Sky News hasn't independently verified these texts. His profile has been shut down by Instagram, which is working with US law enforcement on the matter. Daniel Allington, a senior lecturer at King's College London, specialising in social media in relation to hate and violence, told Sky News the 18-year-old was a socially isolated young man who appears to have violent fantasies of revenge and who had a clear element of aggression in his messages. A spokesperson from Ubo told Sky News, we are deeply saddened by this unspeakable loss and are fully cooperating with law enforcement on their investigation. At this stage, we are not legally able to release any specific user information outside of direct requests from law enforcement, but can confirm that we are investigating an account that has since been banned from the platform.